Matt. Matt, Matt yeah. Sadler. Yes. Nice to meet you. I like your, are you a Red Sox fan? Too? Yeah, well, they're my East Coast team. I'm from L.A., so I'm a Dodgers fan. You're a Dodgers fan. Yeah, but I hate the Yankees, so. There you go. So we're on the same Yeah, team. that's exactly. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Matt. Hello, Matt. I'm Russell. Nice to meet you, mate. Uh, how'd you show at the uh, Wilbur Girl last night? Good. Good. It was really good fun. It went really well. It was a laugh, man. It's a nice theater. Mother brand, I lived in it. Imagine that for a theater. Imagine you go to a theater and suddenly you were informed that Marlon Brando lived in it. That's weirder than anything I've experienced <laughs> at Disneyland. All right, so you got your new movie, Get Him to the Greek, That's coming right. out. You've been in a lot of big movies over the last few years. You've been uh, in some really good projects. Thanks. What is it like working on this film as opposed to some of the other films that you've done lately? I would say this is a lot more energetic of a movie. I'd say it's the most reminiscent of Superbad in its in its energy and the, you know it you know I think it's just constantly moving and you're running around and you're catching planes and not like that was in Superbad but Superbad was very like an energetic film from the second it stops you kind of feel the energy of it and this movie it's different because it's a road movie so we did a lot of traveling we were in London and New York and Vegas and LA and it's a rock and roll road movie you know so I think it was very high energy throughout the shoot and I think that shows in the in the final product, you know. So you're reviving a character that you played in Forgetting Sarah Marshall. What is it like bringing back to a uh, character back to life after two years? It's really good. We did a ceremony to raise him up because we'd accepted it had been two years. So we sat around a pentagram and conjured up the dead soul of Alder Snow. He returned, entered me through my solar plexus. Before I knew it, it was shining out of my eyes once again, like a robot king or a mechanical Godzilla. That's what makes this film. <laughs> So naturalistic. Is that you have the soul of Alice Snow inside? And the body of a robot Godzilla. <laughs> right. <laughs> so in this movie, you work with Russell Brand, both yeah. of you very talented comedians. What is it like working with Russell on set and how much joking around you guys do? How much improv in the script do you guys do? Um, Russell is fantastic. He is super hilarious, as everyone knows, but he's also a really genuine, nice guy and very authentic and considerate, you know? So he's not like Aldous, who is just insane and, and crazy, uh, you know? So we did improvise quite a bit, and that was really fun. But Offset, we would kind of just actually really talk. He's a really interesting guy. He's led an interesting life, and he's wildly intelligent. So I think, you know, we would just kind of sit and talk, and we'd have fun and laugh and stuff, but, you so, know. So he's not like his character in the movie at all, is what you're saying? I don't know. You'd have to ask him. You'd have to have uh, him. Yeah, I mean. I will then. Yeah, you should. <laughs> so in, in the movie, Aldous, is, he's a big rock star, over-the-top kind of guy, yeah. womanizer. Yeah. How similar are you to your character? I look the same, as you can see from <laughs> Yes, that's true. I knew that. I meant more of the, 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 the soul part as opposed to the I don't do that. Body. I refuse to do any acting. Like, if, if I see something in a script and I go, I wouldn't say that, I take it and I go, but it's, you're pretending that's what acting is. I go, no, I wouldn't say it. Yeah, but hold on, but in this film you're a farmer. I, don't, I am not a farmer. <laughs> Make him be called, this is called All the Snow, not Russell Brand. That's already a stretch. Right. It's got the same number of syllables, Russell Brand. Or doth snow, right? So I can just about hold that together. Any other differences annoy me. Okay, so, so you, he's exactly the same. So you refuse to do any acting? I refuse. <laughs> I refuse. I just say, turn on the camera, and I'll just do how what, what I feel. If I'm feeling in that moment what's happening so in I'm the story. So I'm basically interviewing Elvis Snow right now. Is what yes. Because Jonah said you were nothing like your character. So. <laughs> How are you compared to your character in the movie? What are you like compared to the character? I don't know. I would say this is this character is the most similar to who I am out of any movie I've ever been in, because I think the other characters I've played in movies tend to be a little more slackerish, a little more um, immature, and this guy kind of has his stuff together. He's got a girlfriend who he loves. He's in a serious relationship. He's very motivated, and I think people assume I just like sit around and smoke pot all day and do nothing. No, but I never said that. <laughs> not you. No, you're, no, you're, never, you. I don't think I said. I that. guess my parents they keep calling me and keep oh, me that now. Okay, yeah. um, but but to do this job, you have to be pretty motivated and you have to be willing to work really hard. And I think that was something I saw in myself in this character. And uh, and I don't know. I think it's a really a really cool, interesting character and. God damn it, can you save the coughs for when we're done? 
Dude, this is the most unprofessional room I've ever. I'm sorry. We got I people coughing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. No, I'm totally kidding. I'm telling you. Yeah. You worked with uh, Diddy in this. Yes. So what What is he like? That's he's amazing. Have you? Oh, he's not. He's not in Boston right now. But no. he <clears throat> he fought really hard for the part. First of all, um, everyone assumes that Diddy just calls calls productions and goes. Diddy shall be a part of this production. <laughs> but uh, he really wanted the part, and a lot of great actors came in, and he was truly the most deserving of the role. He came in, he flew himself out, he auditioned, and he was hysterical. And I think he helped a lot giving us music business credibility for making sure what we were doing felt really like the music business and kind of encapsulated that. And he, he definitely showed me you know, he gave me this experience. Like oh, the, the weekend before the movie, he took my friends and I from high school to Vegas before we started shooting, and he really gave me the experience of what I was about to go through because I wanted to spend the night, you know, spend the weekend with a rock star, learning how fun it is, how dark it can get, how incredible and interesting, and sometimes too interesting. And then, you know, so I think so he's he, a method actor. He gave me the right, he gave me the whole experience. And I think it was very beneficial, you know, good. in this movie, you guys have a scene where you have a threesome. Mm. What is Jonah like in bed? Good. Erotic, imaginative. He makes you feel like you're the only woman in the world. You know, like, I've never been taken so high, but I've never also been taken so low. Sometimes it's like, uh, it's like taking LSD and opium simultaneously. So there's the hallucinogenic world of the lysergic acid, pioneered here by your own Tim Leary. This is Harvard land, right? So this is where all that stuff began. And then Ram Das, who was formerly a professor, another Harvard University. This place is like, we're in, like in a spiritual hinterland here. And those places can be achieved in two ways. One, become a Harvard professor, then do loads of acid. Two, have sex with Jonah Hill. Those are the only ways you can achieve enlightenment in my mind. Okay. I've done both, so I know exactly what you're talking about. That's, I sensed that when I met you, I thought this person is like an orb of pure consciousness, just radiating truth beams. Absolutely. Absolutely. You, in addition to this movie, you've, you've done some acting, you also do stand-up, you just had a stand-up show, mm -hmm. and you're also, you had a book on the New York Times bestseller list. I wrote that book. Yeah, I, I, you also wrote it. Also. I wrote it. Right. So anyway, <laughs> can't argue with that. That's no. a fact. So, so you you put on a lot of hats. You got your your acting. You do. You're an author. You're a stand up. What do you enjoy doing the most? Masturbating. Okay. So of the three that I listed, though, I won't. You will not fence me in, Matt. Any I, question from now on, the answer is no. Stand up. Stand up is the best thing. But the reason I like stand up is because it is the has the most proximity to self relief. Stand up, there are no boundaries. In stand up comedy, if you can achieve consensus with your audience, you can take them anywhere. If they love you and you love them, they'll come with you anywhere. Acting, there's a story. You can't just say anything. You've got to be within the parameters of the story. Stand up, there are no parameters. There are no boundaries. Peculiar things have been achieved in rooms. Necromancy. The dead have risen from their graves, and when the dead rise from the graves, the living must be afraid. So it is said by the people that made a film about zombies, I believe. Can't help. But notice you, you. I want to mention your chest hair because you're cool. always you're always showing off the chest hair. And I got yeah, there. It is. I like that. I got. Uh oh, oh Jesus, this. Matt. Look out! Look at that. That's a rug. Look at that. <laughs> that you, don't lie. You're impressed. You're impressed. Beyond yeah. impressed, Matt. I'm around. You had there. You go. You had no idea that that was going to happen. Did I you? didn't think I could feel this way about anything other. Let me tell you this. I love the woman I'm marrying. But the sensation that I just experienced makes a mockery of my forthcoming vows. If, is there any way we can just get you to look in the camera and do like a plug for Emerson Channel and just yeah, say course, like, yeah. I'm Jonah Hill and you're watching Emerson Channel? Yeah. Hey, I'm Jonah Hill and you're watching Emerson Channel. You should be doing something else, but you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Russell Brand. You were watching the Emerson Channel. There's no point denying it. How, how then did you see me say that? You might, oh, I'm not watching the Emerson Channel. You are, because this is it. And you just saw me say that. You're watching the Emerson channel.